Good afternoon. Monday afternoon. I am hesitant about making this video, but I'm going to make it anyways. I normally don't like to make videos of stuff that people have given me. But, um, there's one of my viewers who years ago sent me some uh, new old stock Radio Shack parts, like switches and stuff like that, when I first started out my shop. Also sent me a high voltage probe which goes to a digital multimeter. <coughs> And um, about a month ago I, or so, maybe a little longer than that, I got an email from, he, he, I'm going to, uh, he's going to remain anonymous. Um, he does not have a YouTube channel as far as I know, but he does watch my videos. He might have a YouTube, um, no he don't because he, come to think of it, he never comments on my videos because you got to have a YouTube channel to do that, but he does. Uh, he has sent me stuff before, and I didn't recognize his name. His first name is Dave, not to be confused with Tommy's mentor. It's a different Dave altogether. Um, and he has sent me a high-voltage probe and some Radio Shack Newell stock little card stuff that like switches and things like that, um, and push buttons and different things like that when I first started out my shop. So about a month or so ago, maybe a little longer than that, uh, he sent me an email saying I got a, a Hickok tube tester I'd like you to have. Well, you know me, I've always wanted a Hickok tube tester, but, you know, never could afford one. And the last thing in the world that I would ever thought anybody, anybody would give me was a Hickok tube tester. He said he had a Hickok um, 600A, and he also had a, a, a 6,000. Uh, he says either one. So I said, well, I really, as much as I'd love to have it, I says, I, I can't accept it unless I can pay you for it, and he didn't want any money for it. Very kind gentleman, and, uh, you know, at the, at the risk of uh, a troll, which I've got, which um, is ignorant, because, uh, you know, people like um, the radio shop uh, buddy, he gets stuff given to him. Uh, like Uncle Dog, he does guitar amps and stuff. I'm subscribed to him. Uh, people send him stuff. And he don't seem to get the trolls, so, you know. I'm going to just put this out there, and uh, and that's it. And um, if a troll's in there, he's going to be blocked, like always. Uh, so, you know, mainly I want to uh, uh, show the kindness that that, uh, that is out there. And he insisted, and you can probably see it right here, it's 600A. I'll give you a quick glance at that very shortly here. It works very well. Whether it needs calibration, I don't know, because uh, I've downloaded the calibration instructions. Um, and you'll see the unboxing of three boxes, because I'm making this now. Uh, and I'm doing the video backwards. I've already made the video with the unboxing already. But this I got last week. A week ago today, as a matter of fact. It took a while to get here, to be shipped out and so forth. Because I was very reluctant. I said, Dave, I says, I appreciate that. But there's no way I can afford anything like that as much as I'd love to have it. And of course... You know, the shop has got no, no room in here uh, for anything, but we can always make room for something like this. So, uh, he, he basically told me, I want you to have it for your you and Tommy's videos. And he also has something for Tommy. Did not mention what it was. Uh, when he emailed me that, 
I had told Tommy I was receiving a tube tester. That's what I told Tommy. I did not tell Tommy that he was getting something because Tommy is the kind of guy that <laughs> he's got a bug you. Well, did my thing come in yet? Did it come in yet? Whatever, whatever Dave sent me. You know, so rather than do that, I didn't mention anything about it. And he's got a surprise because the envelope, which contains $100, he does not know. I brought it into the house so it wouldn't get lost or blown away on the bench out there. My wife looked at it. I went back out and finished the video. It contained a hundred dollars in there. So that alone is, you know, that's very, very much appreciated because Dave liked likes Tommy's videos. And you know, it's a good feeling that you get people that really enjoy your videos. It's a good feeling to receive gifts, but I don't ask for that. I didn't ask for any of this, but I appreciate it very much. And basically that's all I can say. As you will hear me many times over saying I don't know what to say because I don't, you know. Um, I ran this tester through its paces. Um, it took me a while uh, to get used to it. I printed out a uh, tube setup data chart, which is easier for my bad eyes to read than the roll chart. The roll chart works very well. It's cosmetically, it's in excellent condition. So without too much time here, because the battery is running low on this camera, I'm using the JVC. Uh, let me give you a quick look at this, and then I'll take you outside. But before we do that, I'm going to have Tommy open up his envelope and thank you, Dave, personally on the video. He does not know that he's getting this money. Neither one of us expected anything like that. Uh, I knew I was getting a Hickok and I was ready to send him some money for the postage, but with all these packages that come in, I don't even want to tell you how much the postage is, and I feel bad because I want to send him the money for the postage, at least. And it's well over a hundred dollars. This alone was 30. So, let me show you the tester real quick here. Not going to run through the pace of this, just show it to you. And then we'll go outside. Hang on. Tommy's coming home right now. I want him to open this himself. My wife has already looked in it. And he's getting out of the van now. He's getting home from work. Hey Tom, come in the backyard. I don't want to show the license plate here. Go over this way. Got something for you. Go over that way. So I don't photograph the car and license plates. Okay. Now, you're on video. Hello. Okay. The stuff came in from Dave, the one that sent me the tube tester. Yeah. Now, he told me about two weeks ago in the email that he had something for you. I never told you because you'd be haunting me, what is it? So this is something from Dave. I'm going to let you open it and I'll let you answer, talk to Dave. Uh, Dave on it. This video is going on the video I already made of opening the boxes. So here's your gift from Dave. You open it and you can thank Dave on camera here. Mom has already checked it. Thank you, Dave. A hundred dollars. A hundred bucks. All right. Spend it wisely. I'm going to put it in my wallet. Thank Dave. Thanks, thanks, Dave. All right. Dave wants to remain anonymous, so there's no last names on this. It's not the same Dave that you have the, the mentor. Okay. 
All right, so this video is going to be put together. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to try to get this big, long video out to you. Obviously, you must be watching it now. <laughs> okay, here they are, starting with the small one and the big one and the next size down. <clears throat> well, we're going to open up the first one. Okay, we'll open up the smallest one here. I've already taken off the personal information, labels and so forth. I got the tube tester last week, so uh, that was already, the box is already uh, put away. Okay, this one here is for Tommy. He did mention, he was in the email, that he was sending something to Tommy. However, I did not tell Tommy because he won't shut up. If you tell him he's got something coming, he'd be haunting me every day. So, uh, it looks like Tommy's got some cash here. So, we will put that over here and make sure he gets that. Okay, and... For me, I've got a bunch of tubes here. Can't tell. There's a faint number on it. No idea. Looks like a 5U4 to me. I mean the 80 rather, 80. Could be an 80. Could be an 80. There's no no label on it. Okay. Um 83 mercury vapor rectifier. Now there is already one in the Hickok, along with the 5Y3 that's usually in there. Oh, this damn hernia is giving me a lot of trouble every time. Okay. 6AL5, 12AU7s. 312AU7s. Corrado. Never heard of that brand of tube, but it looks like new old stock. Uh, we've got a 5U4, a 50L6, a 5Y3, Raytheon 5Y3. Looks like a new old stock. Twelve AX seven, twelve AX seven, twelve AX seven, RCA twelve AX sevens. Six X four. Six DT eight. Twelve CT three. Six AU six. And a few others. And what do we got here? Let me get you a little closer here. Not sure what this is, but we'll find out. Electronic 
Testa. Oh, you know what I bet this is? I bet this is a continuity tester. Plastic case. Uh, filament filament continuity tester. 7 pin, 9 pin, and 8 pin octal. I remember these things. I don't remember this particular one, but I remember them. Twelve AU seven six AL five, and I think I read off pretty much most of them. So that is very good. I just brought the money in. I showed my wife. It's a hundred dollars. Well, thank you very much, Dave. I, I don't know what to say. Um, Tommy's at work. But he'll be very pleasantly surprised. Uh, I just don't know what to say. I just appreciate it very much, Tommy. Uh, on Tommy's behalf, uh, be sure to appreciate it. got here. A lot of nice packing. I like this kind of packing. Seventy-seven. A fluke one seventy-seven. I don't know if you can see all of that. Oh, an original Hickok six hundred A manual and. The calibration instructions, which are very, very complex. A whole bunch of capacitors. This is unbelievable. I don't deserve all this. I don't understand why, but I do appreciate it, but... Uh. Mallory Precision Components. Some precision 100 volt capacitors, Mallory. I know where I'm going to put all this stuff. <laughs> There's that Nubis stuff I hear. Nubis number two. All that Nubis stuff I hear the cabinet guys work on. Um, Deoxit D5 and Zoom Spout Oiler. Alignment tools. Build it musical 
Thurman kit. No, I can't do kits. I can't see them. Got a little speaker and a little PC board and everything in there. A Heiko soldering station? This is unreal. I wouldn't live long enough to pay you back for this stuff. Here's a Weller 40 watt iron. Miscellaneous stuff. Not sure. I think this is a, one of them roll uh, things you put tools in. Maybe alignment tools, I don't know. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, that's what that is. Alignment tools. I used to have one like this when I had my attic workshop. Now I have some alignment tools, but I don't have very many. It's very much appreciated. I'll never live long enough to use all this stuff, I can tell you right now. Stereo ear. Well, these are kits. Which I will not attempt to build. I do know somebody that loves building kits though. I think you know who I'm talking about. Because I can't work with this kind of stuff anymore in my eyes. But it's very much appreciated, and if Dave don't mind, the stuff like this that I can't work with, I, I'd like to give, not sell, give to somebody like Doug or somebody like that that can use them, somebody that works with this kind of stuff. So if you don't mind, I would like to do that. kind of saw that is. It's a zip snip. But I, I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. It's rechargeable. Precision screwdrivers. Exacto knife. That. screwdrivers and some picks, little tools to work with the small stuff, which, as I said, I'm not good at, but it could come in handy for certain things that I can do.
Oh, this is the other part of the uh, Heiko uh, soldering station. All right, the soldering station I have, when I first started my shop, that was a kind donation given to me by one of my viewers, and offhand I don't know his name, sorry, but uh, it's been too many years, but I appreciate it and I use it every time in the shop. Um, a couple of oscill oscilloscope probes. GC um, General Cement, in other words. Red insulating varnish, that's what we used to use to coat flyback transformers back in my day. Couple of Wellis soldering gun tips. I won't live long enough to use all this. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a bench vice. This is. Some kind of clamp on meter, but looks different than what I'm used to uh, using. A fluke. A fluke T5 1000. Maybe you don't need the clamp to go around like it used to. You just probably put the wire in here. I really don't know. I'm going to have to research that one. Uh, Soldering holder and I'm not sure what this is. Instructions for Heathgate Universal Oscilloscope Probe. Here's the instructions for the, the bench vice I just showed you. Insulated wire. Shielded. Could be tone arm wire. Uh, 
Not sure. And it's going to be a very long video here. Oh, another one of them, uh, soldering, uh, you know, tip cleaner things. Yeah. Nice little soldering, uh, that looks like a ghost to a soldering station. That might be the Haco. Don't really know though. I've got to spend some time on this stuff uh, to check it all out. This might be a, a night light. It looks like a 6AL5, but I'm not sure. Pretty neat. Okay. That, I think, covers it. It's going to be a while to go through all this stuff. I sure do appreciate it, and uh, I'll tell you one thing, I'll never live long enough to use all this stuff. Dave kind of wanted me to make an unboxing video, and uh, that's what I'm doing at the risk of having undesirables chiming in. But remember, I did not, I appreciate this, but I didn't ask, could you send me stuff? I'm not that kind of guy to do that, so. Just the way it is, I I get some very nice, kind, kind viewers that do much more than they need to do. Put that over here, and let's put that the last box here. Let's check and see if I'm still recording. Sure that the battery didn't die on me. Yeah. A uh, Chinese book on a, a regal something or other. Oh, there's a 
Sorry, I got this hernia. It's really giving me a lot of trouble. Any time it don't bother me is I'm laying down. A huge desoldering tool. Another uh, recall user guide for some kind of probe or something. Capacitor wizard. Hey, that's what Shango 66 uses. The capacitor wizard. Yeah, that's what Shango 66 uses. That same thing. See, now I can be a Shango. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Nobody will compete with Shango, I'll tell you that much. I enjoy his videos. Kind of funny. Uh, I think this is a box of uh, drawers of parts. What the? Yeah, I don't want to open that. I think it's a box of parts. We'll put that off to the side right now. What we got here? Milwaukee. You know, like I say, I sure do appreciate this stuff, but I don't deserve this. I'm only an old part. Oh, drill bits. Those are always welcome. I'm always breaking off the small ones. They're always, always snapping off. Anything from one eight down, I break them off every time. So that's really appreciated. Special bits. Some more special bits. Can always use these. Oh yes, he did say that there's something he's sending me for heat shrink tubing. And uh, this looks like it, but he did mention that in the email. The heat gun. The magnifier just don't cut it. can't read that. You just, 310 watts or 3,010 watts. Anyways, I don't really know, but uh, that's perfect. It's better than using the Bic lighters. More. Some more capacitors and stuff. These are some of these uh, flexome resistors that vintage radios use. It looks like new old stock, so that make, might come in handy. And 
the goal CD. I have a sneaky suspicion that Dave might have sent me a digital oscilloscope. Much appreciated, but man, I'll tell you, I don't deserve it. I'm sorry, I don't. There's the cable for it, I guess. And we got some uh, fusible resistors too for vintage radios and stuff. I gotta open this. Good. Get these in here so they don't blow all over the yard. It's exactly what it is. It is a we go a DS ten. 52E, 50 megacycle scope or 50 megahertz. That's going to take some learning on my part, I'll tell you. I'll be right back. I'm going to put this in the shop so it doesn't get damaged. Okay, I just want to get you a close-up of that. What a nice piece of equipment. I guess that Regal is a good brand. Power switch, I guess. Boy, there's a learning curve on this for me. Okay. There's a USB cable here. Not sure what this goes to. It's computer something. Uh, BNC is probably your input. Well, now your inputs are here, so hey, I have to look at the book. Well, for now, I'm going to temporarily put some of these, like the tools and stuff, and the capacitors and a few other items in this shed for now, because I can't move around in my shop. I got the uh, digital scope in there, I got the uh, capacitor wizard in the shop. Um, and all that stuff there and I gotta go out to the store now so I'm gonna end this video here I may make a video on the digital oscilloscope once I learn how to use it um, the digital scopes are completely different than the analog that I'm used to using I have that small one that, that uh, it's pretty good, but uh, it's still a little complicated to figure out because I'm not from the digital age. <laughs> so I want to thank you, Dave, for everything more than I ever could, anyone could ever expect. Uh, your kindness is overwhelming, and I just hope that uh, someday I can 
do the same for someone else. And I plan on sending some stuff at my expense, like the kit stuff and everything else that I don't use, if you don't mind that, uh, because I can't see with these eyes, I can't work with that small stuff, and I'd rather donate it to somebody who can, provided that's not a problem with you, Dave, and you can chime in on that uh, at the end of this video in the comments section. And um, that's probably the best thing to do because the stuff that is really small to work with is only going to go to waste being not being used, and I'd rather see somebody that can use it. So it'll be my decision who gets it uh, because the, I don't want any hard feelings. I it's not going to be one of these. Uh, I'll whoever's first and this and that, I'm going to decide who gets it, and that's as simple as that. But the uh, majority of the stuff here I definitely can use, no question about it, but um, parts definitely can use, and these are, looks like new old stock uh, dog bone resistors, so definitely can be used. So I want to thanks again. Thank you, Dave, again for everything. I appreciate it. And um, that's about all I can say. I, I thank you very much.